In a very short time, new media like video on the web and mobile video have revolutionized the way that we share information. I'm Jenny Johnson for Comcast Newsmakers in Suffolk University's downtown Boston studio. Steve Garfield, producer, author, teacher, video blog pioneer, joins me to talk about the influence of these changes in video and social media. Thank you so much for being here, Steve. You're welcome. So you really are the trailblazer for video blogging. What prompted you to start in 2004? It was like I was blogging. So blogging was really revolutionary because it let people easily put text on the web. And I thought, why hasn't anybody put video on a blog? It would make it so much easier for people. So I made one. It's wonderful. And you have created other ways for people to interact through video mediums. So uh, stevegarfield.tv, what do people see on there? stevegarfield.tv. I do a live weekly show on the Pulse Network and it goes out on the internet and people can interact during the show through Twitter, Facebook, and they can call in and they can call in on the phone and they can call in on Skype. So I'm trying to experiment with ways that the audience can interact with TV shows in real time. So what are some of the things that the people calling in or Skyping or what are they saying? What, what does the interaction well, look like? I'm like, I'm doing some experiments of one thing I just did recently was called social media shopping. Mm -hmm. And I went out shopping and I went on Twitter and I said, what beer should I buy? And people who follow me on Twitter, they know I take a lot of pictures of beer, they gave me all these suggestions. So I bought what they suggested, then I did a video of it, and I showed it on the show. So it came full circle. Full circle, yeah. that's great. Now how, how easily are people gravitating towards this new media? Are people struggling with certain ones, others they're doing better with? Well, so some people are afraid to even do video, or they're afraid to get involved and don't know how. So that's one thing that I like to teach. Um, I have a book, Get Seen, that teaches people step by step how to do it. A lot of people don't realize that a cell phone can also shoot video and put it on the web. So I try and teach people to just get out and do it and try it. That's great. Now we want to talk about Boston Media Makers. What happens there? Boston Media Makers, it's a very unique group because when we meet, we meet the first Sunday of every month at Doyle's in Jamaica Plain, mm. and everybody gets there and we all have breakfast, but we go around a table and everybody has a chance to get up and say who they are and what they're doing and maybe ask a question or do a show and tell. So every single person at the meeting gets to meet every single other person, and that's kind of unique. And this is open to the public? Open to the public. So everyone can show up on Sunday morning if they're if they're not at church, or they can come anyway. Or, right. And I they, give them absolution. They can come. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so And they just ask you questions, share their concerns, share their frustrations, or and you help them sort they of... They talk about what they're doing. They might have really cool projects. Some people bring little technical uh, like gadgets in, cameras, and they show them. They're like, hey, here's a new camera I have. And they show how it works, and people learn. And they're like, oh, I might want to try that, or I might want to get that. There's so many new gadgets out there. So if if you think about the media right now, what are some of your thoughts going forward as you look into the future? So kind of in the old way, the media shows up to cover a story and they're interviewing a person. They're saying, tell me, what just happened? But I think in the future, and actually now, when something happens, people can say, oh, I have a recording device in my pocket. I can record this event and share it right from the device I record it with, like the iPhone, and send it right up to YouTube or even live stream it. So I see people, formerly known as the audience, mm -hmm. getting involved in creating and sharing media. Sharing their own stories, becoming exactly. part of the media. Now, you are not the only one in your family that is blogging. Your mother has a blog? Yep, my mom has a blog. She's one of the oldest bloggers. She's 85 years old, and her blog's called My Mom's Blog. One day, she was like, What's, what is this blogging that you keep talking about? So I made her one. And she's like, well, what am I going to what am I gonna do with this thing? I said, well, you like to go to movies, you like to read books and go out. Whenever you're out, maybe you'll see a good movie. You'll say, oh, I have a, I have a blog. I can talk about this thing. So that's what she uses her blog for. Oh, that's wonderful. Future of technology, about 20 seconds left. Where do we see it going? I see it's really all about people sharing their stories. Wonderful. Well, yeah. thank you so much for being here. And thank you for watching. I'm Jenny Johnson for Comcast Newsmakers.